this is another application of op-amp so far do you have questions about integrator <clears throat> as i already mentioned in the beginning differentiator is different from differential amplifier so differential amplifier we know what it does it's just amplifying the voltage difference but differentiator is differentiating the input voltage so how can we do the circuit design of differentiator so you know integrator so integrator means we have the resistor in the input and then the capacitor in the feedback and of course we added shunt resistor in parallel to make as a practical integrator so this is the normal integrator circuit differentiator just we are exchanging this capacitor here and putting the resistor here very simple so if you just replace the components uh, uh, each other then you will get the differ uh, differentiator circuit so that is what here you can see if you interchange the capacitor and resistor then the circuit becomes a differentiator so this is the circuit of differentiator so again you can see here the current is once after you give the power supply the current ic is flowing through this input capacitor c and current if is flowing through the feedback resistor rf and here as usual we have this meeting point this is called a node x so voltage potential at this node is vx okay so this is the circuit you should remember how to design this differentiator circuit or how it looks at least then now we will see how it works so again we have to apply kirchhoff's current law so now at this node uh, ic is equal to if so now we have to find ic again current ic means that is the current across the capacitor so the same theory you can just recall what i have told just before so the charge stored in the capacitor that is q is equal to c times vc c is the capacitor value and vc is the voltage drop across the capacitor so when we multiply this we get the q and we differentiate this q with respect to t time then we get like this so <clears throat> dq divided by dt is equal to c times dvc by dt so the same equation i just differentiating so now this dq by dt becomes a current that is ic so ic is equal to c times dvc by dt so this is the equation for ic this is same as what we had seen in the previous uh, just before in the integrator and now we are applying this ic is equal to if kirchhoff's current law so we know already this ic value and what is this if value again the potential difference vx minus v out vx is equal to 0 so 0 minus v out divided by rf that is the value of if and this is the value of ic so now what's happening uh, so we know that uh, vc is equal to what is vc that is the voltage across this capacitor again the potential difference so this is v in minus vx we know vx is equal to zero because of virtual ground this the same potential will apply uh, uh, will appear here so then how we can rewrite the vc is equal to v in minus zero v in minus zero this is the potential difference uh, then zero of course you can take it out so vc is equal to v in so this then we can replace this vc by this v in so the same equation maybe this is equation one and we are replacing c times d v in divided by dt is equal to minus v out divided by 
or f so now we rewrite this equation because we are only after this v out so v out is equal to minus r f c we are just bringing this down up here uh, multiplied by dv in by dt so this is equation number 2 so this is an important equation this is the output voltage of this differentiator so minus r of c or minus r c this is called time constant again so okay so here you can see this is directly proportional to this rc output voltage is directly proportional so it means p out is directly proportional to rc so here r is the feedback resistor so we are just putting f in the suffix so r of c so if i increase this r value then v out will value will also increase if i in, sorry i should put this arrow mark up if i increase this r value then v out will also increase if i increase the c value then it will also increase because it's directly proportional so uh, here the uh, the output voltage is the differentiation of the input voltage and multiplied by the time constant you see here this is the output voltage is equal to differentiation of the input voltage that is called differentiator so you should remember the integrator so integrator what we did so the output voltage is the integration of the input voltage v in of t and here the constant is time constant is 1 by rc so minus never mind so 1 by rc but here is the opposite so here we have just rc and then this is the differentiation uh, differentiation of the applied input voltage so this minus sign is indicating 180 degree phase uh, phase shift at the output with respect to input because we are applying the input to this negative input terminal so minus uh, there is a 180 degree phase shift so if you apply dc signal then you will get zero at the output that is the property of this differentiator and if you apply square wave at the input so square wave means just like it's a uh, on time off time on time off time on time like that so if you apply this then you will get spikes at the output what is spikes so spikes may be um something like this if you apply ac signal that is a sinusoidal signal then at the output you will get minus cos omega t uh, sinusoidal uh, we can write like a sin omega t right so here is it is so sin omega t so you will get minus cos omega t at the output uh, if you apply triangular wave at the input then what will happen triangular wave then at the output you will get square wave so these all are non sinusoidal waves it's called it's all about the differentiator it's uh, because since we had spent quite some time in, in integrator differentiator is much much easier because all the logic is the same we are going to apply this kirchhoff's law and you are uh, finding the value for this ic and if and you are rearranging these equations and you get the output value